Dear students, in this module, I'm going to get you inside the BLAST. How does the BLAST algorithm work? In this module, we will understand it in a step-by-step -step manner with the help of an example. But to start with, let me go through the background on what was the purpose of using BLAST. So the BLAST algorithm can help you to search and compare by alignment various types of nucleotide and amino acid sequences. So on one side you have the query sequence and on the other side you have a database. So this database and the query sequence can be a nucleotide or amino acid sequence set and it depends on how you want to perform the BLAST and there are multiple types of BLAST that you can uh, take. Now to help you understand how BLAST works Let's take a look at this example. So here you have a query sequence. So this is the first thing that you need to have while performing BLAST. So as I just mentioned, on one side you have the query sequence, while on the other side you have a database. So as you can see here, your query sequence is an amino acid sequence. In this case, a very small peptide. So the first step in the BLAST algorithm is to make a list of all possible words. What does it mean? So let's say if this is your sequence, then you can have PQG, a word of length 3, or QGE uh, or GEL or ELV. So you can make words of length 3. So here you go. I've listed down PQG, QGE, GEL and ELV that is the four combinations or four words that could be formed by looking at this sequence. So once you have obtained all the words from the sequence, then you need to score them. So how do you score? So you simply put one sequence versus one word and you fill up the matrix, the alignment matrix using Blossom 62 matrix, the block substitution matrix. So you can obtain the score for each word one at a time. So here you have computed the score for PQG and put it here Next, you compute the score for QGE and then you put it here and so on and so forth. So once you have computed the alignment score for each of these words, then we set a threshold. So the threshold essentially means that we select those words which have a score greater than some value x. So in this case, x has been chosen to be 11. So the only two peptides or two words that have a score of greater than 11 are PQG and GEL. So you select them like that. Okay. So once you have selected these words, now you need to mutate these words. So PQG needs to be mutated such that one amino acid is changed at a time. So PQG can be PEG, 
PH, G and many others. So once you have mutated the word, then you score again. So as you already know, PQG had a score of 15 here, right? So the mutated words are also scored and if you do that you will find out that PEG has a score of 13. So now you have PQG and GEL that you got from the first alignment and now you also got PEG which has a score of 13. GEL had a score of 12, PQG had a score of 15. So in this way, you create, you mutate these words for all possible combination of amino acids and you calculate their scores. And remember, those scores are selected which are above the threshold. So in the end, as I just mentioned, we got three words with us. So now we go to the database with these three words and search the database. So the words that we have are PQG, GEL and PEG. So in the database we find where we get a hit. A hit essentially means where we get matches for these words within the database. So once we have a hit, let's say if this is the protein from your database, and we get a hit for PQG then we try to extend this alignment okay so let's see how do we how we do that so if your query had this sequence and your database gave you something like that then you can see that there is a match of one word and there is a mismatch here between I and E. So it compute the score for this four amino acid window and the scores for each position are given here and the high scoring pair or the HSP this is simply called an HSP is the sum of this score so this is about 20 so your PQGI has a score of 20 now if you have two HSPs within the database so this was one and let's assume that at some other position you get another HSP so now, if the distance between them is less than 40, that is 40 amino acids, then you perform full dynamic alignment on the query and hit sequences. So this means that we need to compute the full alignment because this is probably a very good match. So in this way, BLAST reduces the computational cost by simply comparing full alignments for closely located HSPs. BLAST is available online and you can use it to quickly sort and align and compare the nucleotide and protein sequences. The results are tabulated for you and you can look at the details of the statistical evaluations as well.